this video is the next part in modding your SNES Classic with CD based games. I will be using the USB host method instead of the super storage SNES mod. This is an Inatech OTG adapter and it can read the games off of I imagine all these memory cards but I've only used it for the TF card or micro SD card which is right under there you can't see it because it's too dark but I imagine it can read the games off of any of these uh, ports so today I'll be using a USB drive and this adapter so this jack plugs into this end and this will go to the power brick of the SNES Classic and this will go to the back of the SNES Classic uh, power. So next we're gonna go to the computer and set up Hachi and we're gonna do this on a brand new SNES unmodded Classic right from the beginning. First thing we need to do is download Hachi CE version the latest one is 3.4.1 I believe so I have already downloaded this one this is an old version but I will take the time to update it right now if I haven't already done so so yeah I'm already at 3.4.1 and these are previous games that I've added before in the other videos but today we're gonna try to get the CD based games ready for our SNES classic since this is a fresh SNES and a fresh install for USB host mod I need to put my SNES into developer mode so what I will do is go to install repair it'll say do you want to flash the custom kernel you hit yes and then you're going to hold down the reset button power on the SNES classic while holding the reset button and you'll hear your computer load and you'll see this progress bar so I just put it into developer mode it's installing Hackchi again I haven't even turned on the SNES classic that was my first time turning on the SNES Classic. Once this is done, it'll say your SNES uh, Classic is ready for... ready to add games. At that point, I will unplug it from the computer and then plug it into my setup and just run it and see if I get the Hakshi loading screen. So the screen says you can upload games to your SNES Classic now. So what I will do is power on the SNES Classic for the first time, having just modded it. And so I will unplug, turn off, well, I did that backwards, but turn off the SNES obviously, and then plug in the power again. Okay, and turn it on. And I will reset the system. But first, I'm going to try this bootleg Wii Classic controller and see if it works. Okay, so I plugged it in and yeah. So fresh install with Hachi and the SNES bootleg controller works. And there's the proof that we have now loaded our beat Star Fox, so it's, it's all fresh. So I'm going to plug it back into the computer, turn this off. I think in this version, 
we just have to install and prepare the USB host mod and it should run from there so going back to the computer now at this point it's finished installing the mod we need to set some settings so we're gonna go to structure and I'm gonna choose custom I believe I already done this so if you're installing a brand new version just choose custom and then we'll go to maximum gains per folder and we'll put 45 and then here is where we would do the SD card super storage option but we don't need that with the USB host so I think it's ready just to add games uh, but first we need to prepare our flash drive with the necessary files and games so I'll open up my flash drive and here I have the existing games which I have copied over so I'm gonna go ahead and format this flash drive as NTSF and it should be reformatting the flash drive. At the same time I'm gonna just disconnect my other USB micro SD card and work with this one only. So there are a couple of things we need to do. The first one is create a folder called Hackchi. Case sensitive, make sure you spell it correctly. Double click and I'll go ahead and add a folder called saves. Once that's done we also need to create one called transfer and this will transfer all of our H mods, our modifications to the SNES classic so I will open up my H mods and drag them into this folder. I should bring up that these two H mods are relatively new. The no C H mod is um, in case you get crash errors you get this C8 error this is supposed to reduce that and the memory booster is for N64 games for games like Star Fox where it be gets so laggy that it allows more memory to be accessed so that that doesn't happen so there are a couple of N64 games where you will play but once you get to a certain part or level it'll freeze because there's not enough memory so this is what this H mod does um, and here we have the CD based games that we're gonna try <laughs> 